Hello again. This is the six-pointer in our division. We're a minute early, so I'll, I'll preface this. Um, John is top of our division. Um, if I win this game against him, we are more or less the same on win percentage. There's about half a percentage, a percentage point in it in his favour. So I can't leapfrog him by winning, but I make it competitive. I would also punt him down to second in the table because Animal in Space shares or jump above us. Well, him, he's already above me. So but this, for me, is do or die, basically. If I lose this game, I play out the rest of the games in my 20-match series, and I hope to make the playoffs. Um, if I want to win the division and have a, an easier round of the playoffs, I have to win this game and pretty much win all my remaining games and then hope that that both uh, John and Shez have a weaker run-in. Because uh, obviously I've at least got games played. What do they say? Points on the board, not games in hand. Um, but so that's where we're at. This is this is kind of my must win if I want to win the division, and if I don't win, then it's the playoffs or bust. So that's where we're at with this game. Um, John's a, a newer player on play deck, but is you know clearly capable. Is ranked better than me. I expect to have a hard time. Uh, but I'm USA, so the trick will be to weather the storm. And if I can weather the storm, hopefully we'll make this one come in coming good. So that's where we're at. Let's join him. Alright, so here we've got the dilemma, which is, he's a great player, do I open Marshall plan and give everything away? So what are my other options? I can defect and play conservatively to win Europe scoring for domination. Right, so yeah, it it's either open four four two and headline defectors, or open martial plan, and hope I don't get to gold duck and covered or purged or something nasty. Or ordinarily, I'd open martial plan. I I don't know. I have a I have a an inkling. I'm gonna open four four two, and this may be the first mistake of the game. So. Let me know what you think, because I'm relatively ops rich. The risk of defecting turn one is that I can be purged turn two, but I'm probably going to have to play it for ops anyway. So we'll try and get Egypt, Lebanon, Jordan before our Israeli war gets triggered. And Europe scoring in Nasser. Right, that's my hand. We'll open 442 and we'll hope that he misses the opening call in Italy, especially after I'm defecting his headline. All right. Are you react to Est? Let's go with defectors and see how much of an idiot I've made it myself. Oh well, blockade gets uh, defected. So I don't need to worry about holding three op cards, which allows me to front load some more ops, which is nice. So let's hope that he's seduced by an easier coup in Iran. He's not. Oh, and he's cleared me out. 
so we will drop Europe scoring right now. So Marshall Plan would have done the job and would have made NATO unplayable. Uh, so yeah, that's a bummer. Um, oh, well, the deed is done now. Well, he was ops rich and all. Yeah, wise. So. We'll go with that for now. Uh, so now I've made De Gaulle and Suez really attractive. Suez especially. Okay. By doing that, he's giving me South Korea till turn three. With it unplayed. So uh, I'll, I'll have that. No doubt. I'm fine with that. Um, we may go Cambridge 5 and try and realign, realign on Iran. Iraq. We still need to get a counter coup in at some point to get our mill ops. Yeah, well, the Middle East scoring gone. Let's get off to space. We get there, that's lovely. Okay, so he's going to drop and then coup. And we're hoping he rolls a 1. Oh, perfect. And that covers us against Suez. So we're going to lose out on Milops, but we're going to... Make some havoc in the only unscored region. So let's go with that. So all five four op cards gone. And I thought I was lucky to have the ones I had. Now I got D style, which isn't going anywhere. We need to watch out for a headline of um, D Cole. Well, at least get Milops in. The question is what the best headline is. I suppose it's Olympic Games with Duck and Cover gone. So he goes off to space. And I have time to protect myself. Uh, D. Stahl. Vietnam. Good, I just got there. NASA Fidel Warsaw Warsaw
we can do this. Although, hold up, US Japan's gone. So we don't want him overloading it. Yes, I know that triggers US Japan for later, but he now can't flip Pakistan. So we're hoping to get US Japan back. Uh, yes, it's for free ops, as I've just said. But we, we want to try and stay ahead in Asia. And the easiest way to stay ahead in Asia is to go into our country count. Of course, what we might do now is drop Formosa and make me look like a chump. Um, but there we go. Blockade's not coming out, so we know d -Stel's safe. We're going to have to trigger NASA. Unless he contains us AL6. And we can send off to space. Yeah. So we are going to race him in India and then event Indo Pakistani war because we're mean. And if he moves into Egypt, we'll give him NASA once he's controlled her. Now we know he doesn't have a 4-op card, of course, so that makes me putting one in India look like a genius. Uh, but actually, I've not really been tracking cards properly. There's still plenty of 3-op cards left. Some better than others for him. Is he going to go for it? No. Uh, all right, so we're going to do Romanian abdication before independent reds. If he's got another throw up card, we're going to give it the old college try with Indo-Pakistani war. And we'll finish with Vietnam revolts. So does he have a five-year plan? He's, he's containing. Okay, so I'm not going to get space NASA. Here we go. Big money, no Amazon. Stop. Boo. Oh, well. 50-50s. You got to love them. Uh, we'll cover France because de Gaulle's still in play. He'll coup Iran. And we hope he misses. Oh, no, okay. Oof. So Comic-Con, D. Cold, De Gaulle, Asia Scoring, Five-Year Plan, Formosa, East Europe, Independent, Truman, and CIA. Um, so, I mean, it would be a dream, but let's dream. If I can be dealt duck and cover back in the reshuffle. If I can be dealt duck and cover back in the reshuffle with Five-Year Plan and he gets CIA, we can end the game. Uh, pff, doesn't matter. So that's what we're going to push for.
But for now, that won't do it. Let's hope. And so I got dealt CIA. Well, that ain't happening. But I got decol, so I can drop Asia scoring for zero before any domination shaggers, right? So Vietnam's gone, I've got decol, I've got D style. And I've got a decent amount of ops. My biggest threat is being de Gaulle, obviously, which is quite likely. And there's not a lot I can do about it. So he's got five-year plan. He can ditch an unsympathetic scoring card. He doesn't need to worry about CIA. He's got Formosa and Independent Reds and Comic-Con and de Gaulle. So five-year, Formosa, Independent, Comic-Con, de Gaulle. De Gaulle's the most likely headline of that lot, depending on what else he picked up. Got nuclear test ban, got Marshall plan, and Asia scoring, and da, 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 Olympic Games. So yes, Asia scoring is the safest headline. I'm likely to get to gold. I think I just have to eat that. Get out of the way. Oh, even better, even better. So, uh, likely coup on Iran. And will space decal. And then we'll do a bit of getting ahead in Africa. If he doesn't play NATO AR1, there's also the opportunity to event Marshall Plan. What do we think? It's the it's the best way to try and deny domination. And it's seven ops for four. So now I'm basically saying if you've got Europe scoring, you've got to play it right now. He doesn't, so we're going to weather the storm. That's good news for us. So we're going to cover brush war. And then make sure he can't cover Italy for us brush warring him. Yeah, that'll do. So he's got five-year plan to Gaul and independent reds, and he won't want to play independent reds because of the Romania effect. Oh, he will. Okay. He's got two orders of value elsewhere. I'm accepting of the fact I'm going to be dominating the Middle East. So what else do I want to do? I think at this point, I'm going to space decal. I'm probably even going to space D style, but that always makes me a bit queasy due to... Um, okay, well, maybe I won't. Oh, maybe I will. Getting salted, basically. Salting d style. But what am I going to do? Am I, I, mean, I going to hold it all the way through? Um, 
And it does allow me to AR6 pump Italy. And I get some VP with it. Well, could be worse. So we know he's got De Gaulle. We don't know his other two cards. No, no, no. Okay, so I'm going to... Just repair, lightly. Because I may be able to double tap Italy. And that gives him a... If he doesn't get socialist government, it's a tough decision. Okay, I'm fine with him taking Algeria. Because I'm now going to double tap. And put him to a decision. So, I got salt. He can't salt D-style. I've got access to South America with OAS. Che's only good... Che's only good in Costa Rica at the moment. You an intervention, which is good against De Gaulle. Arms race. That nine. What am I missing? Salt. So what options do we have? We can salt a card to get Defcon up to five. There's not an obvious card to salt. I can event CIA. I could use How I Lend Worrying to get DEFCON up to 5. So, Event CIA and look at his hand. How I Learned to get DEFCON up to 5 or sold in order to threaten Italy. The other upshot of How I Learned going up, uh, raising DEFCON to 5, is there's a lot of cooing and counter cooing we can do. And I do have the China card. Let's use how I learned. If he does something to resolve Italy, I can always drop DEFCON to two and stop him getting a coup. He quogs me. So, we will indeed make DEFCON two. Um, choices, choices. With you an intervention as well, I guess Che or Lads is the, the first chuck. Yeah, okay. Um, lads, two ops versus mill ops. Oh no, the mill ops question is a good one. Let's chuck Che. It's close. Phew, he gets out. Oh, arms race is playable. Probably worth snagging those three VP at some point quickly. And I can use you an intervention on flower power. Because I might as well. Well, that's a shame. We've got a nice big coup we can do on Botswana. But we'll take South Africa before he can do more with it. Although, of course, the other option would have been OAS into Argentina and Brazil and start running up country count there. Which isn't a shabby idea. Let's see if he plays into Botswana. No, good. He goes off to space. 
health, which we'll let him have. So the question is arms race or OAS? I'll have time to arms race, unless he's got ABM here. He's found his milops, but he fails with them. I think we're still going to take arms race. 3 VP for 3 ops is a decent trade. I would have played into Botswana sooner to get domination in Africa and threaten the rear line. He may do it now. In... Oh no, he moves in that way. Okay, fine. We'll take our 3 VP. We're not going to play into Chile, actually. AR7 will coup Colombia to get presenceless domination in South America. Okay. I'm still kind of happy he didn't go into Botswana. Triggering NATO after special relationship. Good work there. Uh, so what do we want to do? Let's use CIA to coup to make him play into Nigeria. And then we'll use lads to coup Colombia. AR7. We're still hoping to dodge Junta in Liberation Theology. He doesn't have to repair that. He's already done, done, done the necessary. So, Ecuador? Oh no, he's walking towards... Chile that way. I'm prepared to let him have Chile because of Allende. And he's presenceless here. So if I get South America scoring, which I do, boy, I do a lot of damage. He's unlikely to be able to defy me with Junta as well. That is a sick deal, isn't it? I got just about every card I could hope for. I may even hold grain sales through to the next turn. Jesus. So what's the risk? Junta and then a good coup of Colombia is basically the only card that saves him. <laughs> I wasn't even unhappy about getting Lone Gummin. I've only just seen that card. The other ones are so blue. He's probably got a handful of red. Um, for tempo, let's take South America scoring as well as we can. So no Junta, even ABM's tolerable. No Junta. Oh, it's Junta! So he's got to play... He can play two into Mexico and coup Colombia and pray. But either way, he's got a coup Colombia, I guess. And we still have VOA up our sleeves. Okay, so he gets presents. Four instead of eight. But I protect Central America. So VOA option is remove South Africa, Angola, Zaire. Try and hold defectors. Uh, sorry, try and hold grain sales. Can I hold grain sales? I probably can't. Because I've got to hold lone gum and I don't want to give up the China card. Although I could give up the China card and then take it back with Nixon. That costs a turn of tempo.
So he's pushing for an OPEC. Do we like that? He's got a coup Cameroon. I think first we coup Saharan states and set up multiple rear lines. Okay, so we saved a VP. We'll have three cracks at realigning. Oh, come on. Always the third. Yay! Always the third. Uh, yeah, that was a snap decision. I can walk into Mexico. Junta's gone. Don't want to make it a viable coup target before ABM comes out. And want to give him food for thought in Cuba. So how's the board shaping up? If I can neutralize Africa or swing it for domination, that's great news. Asia's relatively balanced, he says relatively. I'm holding Alliance for Progress just on the off chance I can score it. For four or five VP. I'm only going to do that if I use the China card and take Mexico and, and Cuba. Okay, so he gets a nice, nice big coup with a free card. So, what do we want to do now? Now, I think we want a Voice of America him out of that end of Africa. And even if the Portuguese Empire collapses, I can get to Zaire first. Yeah, so he scores his OPEC. We will not use Alliance for Progress for the points. But I might go China card Nixon to hold grain sales. If I'm going to go China card next, what am I doing with the China card? Double tapping Italy again? So he spaces the trap. I mean, I could have grain sales that turn and or got an ops or bear trap, I guess. But is that going to make a difference? Is that going to make a difference? CIA is not in the deck, so I can't. I can't see myself pulling something with grain cells that isn't worth keeping. So what to do? Africa's hasn't scored, and it's looking good. Maybe I do do that in case he's got Central America scoring. Although he probably would have dropped it by now. And I'm going to get to grain sales, so he can't coup Mexico unless he has ABM. Ugh, I'm not sure that's great, but let's go with it. A 
and then we'll take it back with Nixon AR7 if he doesn't do anything flashy. That's weird. Vietnam Revolts has lingered, even though... You don't have... I don't know. Weird play deck bug. Another one for the list. Um, Alright, so how are things going? Africa now looks better. Central America looks better. I'm slightly ahead in Southeast Asia by a whisker. So all of the unscored regions are in my favour or Europe. It's minus one. You can't sort OPEC, so that's not coming back in a hurry. I am relatively content with the board state the way it is. And the fact that I know I'll be getting the initial coup off thanks to grain sales, even if he ABMs me. The worst, I guess the worst case scenario is he ABMs and flips Thailand, which flips domination for the future, but also Southeast Asia scoring. So ABM's the card I'd like to be dealt, certainly. And what haven't I? I've not been paying attention to. Special Asia went, Panama went. They're all still in. Haven't seen. Oh, Brush Wars still in the net. Got to watch out for that. OPEC's gone. Arab Israeli War went. Liberation Theology is still in the net, so he does still have access that way. And I do need to watch out for Blockade, which I have totally forgotten about. Okay. Uh, so I got the China card back, so I'll just use Nixon to repair. So we headline grain sales. Uh, so what else did we get? Sanat Korean Summit. Ooh boy, lots of one-off cards. Although of course Sadat's handy. Nuclear subs. Ask not, I can ask not away lone gunman. And Cuban Missile Crisis. So I can ask not away Summit, Lone Gunman, and Korean War. I guess I want to event Sadat. Nasa's gone. Although it doesn't make a lot of difference. So the question is, do I keep it in the deck to crud up his late war hand if it gets dealt back to him? Muslim Revolution isn't really a threat either. It's only two ops. So I guess the next question is, where am I cooing? If I coo Libya, then Sadat suddenly becomes slightly more seductive. The one thing I feared. I whistled for the wind. Okay, I mean, that's a result. <laughs> that's an even bigger one. Ugh. Um, no, we're going to coup. There. We're not going to take chances on Brush War. And we don't want him to get access to Flip Zaire. That's about as good as it could have gone, I guess. Well, I really... Th I, Thailand was the play, I think. I won't talk about it in chat. He, he doesn't need to know during the game what I'm thinking. He can listen afterwards. He hasn't purged me yet. He said he was looking forward to purging me so he could hear me say sarcastically it was an unending delight. So he drops scoring now for a point. I really think he should have gone for Thailand. Especially holding Southeast Asia scoring. That's a 4VP swing. And Africa's... Like, he has to Kuango land, flip Zaire. I, I don't think... I really don't think that was best for him. Alright, so we're going to ask not. And we're going to ask not away Sadat. Because I don't think it's likely to make a material difference. Camp David may come along, but I didn't have it. Let's get rid of Lone Gunman for now. It may come back. Yeah, I'm happy with that as a return. So Arsenal's gone and I ditched Nixon, Summit, Sadat, Lone Gunman. Kept Cuban and Nuclear. Got Norad, Brezhnev. <laughs> Colonial in the Kitchen. Only Camp David and Containment are the remaining cards. So he's stealing Culture Revolution. Wise. 
So we will event Colonial Rear Guards to overprotect, threaten Lao, threaten Burma, threaten the Pakistani War, and break Algeria. Thank you, ask not. So we're not going to get the China card back anytime soon. Oh, he might use it to flip Pakistan. Uh, so then I race up country count if he does that. Uh, we're going to be putting one in Canada because NORAD now is going to last all game. And that's going to make a real pain in the backside for him. So, Lao. Oh no, retake. Um, okay, an unscored region. Fine. So I will cover Pakistan. Move into Canada. Oh no, I have to... Uh, dumbass. I have to event NORAD. The question is, is it worth it? It probably is, because I now have influence in so many areas. And this might be a good time to event NORAD. This is a uh, rare, in my opinion. Indo-Pakistani war still to come out, right? Okay, fine. Level up South America. Unscored regions and all. Let's space... Boo! Ah, kitchen debates. That's a shame. I should have invented kitchen debates sooner. He's going for it. Grit your teeth. Good. Alright, let's event Norad. He may just we will bury you next turn. Boom. What do we think? I'm just going to tap that. I'm behind in space. It makes Kitchen Debates playable if he doesn't immediately resolve it. And I can use NORAD soon. Um, that's probably not ideal. Uh, but CIA is in the deck. Don't want to vent nuclear subs too hastily. So he'll repair and overprotect. So we're going to pop one in Italy so that when he drops DEFCON, he runs up against it. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. And we're going to overprotect Lowry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's overprotect Lau against Brush War. And we'll hold kitchen debates of all things. So Central and Europe scoring still to drop. I got Europe scoring. The question is, do I do I gamble? I feel like I should gamble. I can blockade away Muslim Rev. I got one small step, which is nice. Containment gives me a lot more ops, and I can space that. I'm going to get more than five worth of ops from containment, so containment looks like the headline. So I expect to see possibly we will bury you here. He may purge me, because I think purge was in the deck. Could we see you two instant go? I've not been tracking cards very well. Portuguese Empire Crumbles is still to come out. I got blockade. So he's got we will bury you. Central America scoring probably has purge. Has Camp David. Has Portuguese Empire Crumbles, I think. That looks about right for a guy who's not been tracking very well. Not sure about U2 incident. Has that come out? So what happened? Oh, okay, they cancel.
Okay, so we'll give him Central America domination, and we will claim Europe domination in exchange. So he's about to say, ah, oh, crap. Yep. See you, raise you. So we're blockading away Muslim Rev, we're spacing Libthi, and we're spending our other six ops. Still relatively happy with the board state. Relatively happy. I'm a greedy man. Do we want to blockade away Muslim Revolution? Because it's only going to cost me two ops to repair Muslim Revolution. It will leave me with blockade in hand, but we move to late war. Okay, no, I don't want to do that because Aldrich and Lone Gunman could, could end me there. And still could if I don't get the China card back. So yes, despite... I'm going to get three clean ops with five-year plans versus two clean ops with Muslim Rev. So I'm, I'm not going to do that. But I had to think about it. So he's thinking uh, Portuguese Empire is a waste of time. And he'd be right. He's got Camp David, which he doesn't really want to play either, because I can then flip Egypt with it, with a five-year plan. Begin to begin there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What cards do I have? I've got Libthy, one small step kitchen debate. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a little bit vexed that I didn't stop to count. Battlegrounds. Because Kitchen Debates was a, it was in a playable state. So that's vexing. But yeah, Space Away Libthy, use a clean up on blockade somewhere. What are we looking at? We could try and take a realign on Algeria, because obviously if we're lucky, we can now control it. But let's see what he does first. Basically, it's it's tempo response. So he spaces away, which he has to with things the way they are. We'll space as well. Great, we get to headline peak. Bonus. And he's not going to leapfrog us. <coughs> ah, la, la, la. in doing so, I have brought Ortega into play. So I need to watch out for that as well. Okay. We'll just respond. Getting ready for Iranian Iranian hostage crisis, of course. Let's hope I don't lose by two VP, because it'll be the kitchen debates what lost it. Still need to get some milops. But I can do that AL7 with five year plan if I need to. So yeah, the DEFCON win is definitely his track, but he's got Ortega and he's got Lone Gunman. So he's in proportionately good shape. So you 2 was in the deck and I wasn't paying attention to it. He splashes around. I'm fine with him splashing around. So let's blockade away Muslim Revolution. Get a coup off. <laughs> it's rubbish. But that's fine. We can have another one op coup on Nicaragua and then do some more damage with five year plan. What would that be? 
He's overprotected all his battlegrounds in Asia. And I haven't, so I suppose I need to protect Japan. If he China cards into Japan now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we can still we can still avoid domination. So could be worse. So there's Camp David. I expect he'll repair Egypt with it. Yeah. And as he does, we'll overprotect Japan. So he's got Portuguese Empire Crumbles plus one card. He's going for it. All right. Big coup. Yes. Nice. Late war time. Please, no lone gunman. Oh, I got Ortega. That ain't good. Is he going to drop Defcon in the headline? Oh, I'm peeking. So I can actually play Ortega safely in the headline. So let's plug in the hand. I got Willy. I got Ortega. I got Thatcher the Betrayer. I got Solidarity, which you bet your ass I'm going to uh, headline. Great. So... Ortega before Lone Gunman. It's got to be. So he's going to get a good old peek at my hand, which does give him the advantage. Seven. One more card is South African Unrest. So we're going to try and space away SOCGov for... So I expect him to coup Zaire here. Although that's not ideal for him. Maybe Brazil. Or to forego the coup and then obviously coup AR1. But obviously if he does that I get my NORAD op. So I'm actually happy with that. Alright, so name of the game is to stay ahead in as many regions as possible, right? Try and win this in final scoring. There's no need to take any more chances. But with Lone Gunman and Ortega gone, he's now looking to win in final. Okay, great. I'm fine with that. So where can I do the most damage with an op? And then push for Israel. Yeah? He's slowly working on Africa, no doubt. And, I, you know, I need to watch out for that. But I could potentially hold nuclear subs. Because I can repair the worst of South Africa unrest. And as I don't need to win by DEFCON, if any nuclear subs turn 9 isn't shabby. I can take the 1 in 3 on India. That's a pretty seismic flip. So 
So these two cards, Willy in Latin, into Israel to level up there. Although, of course, Iranian hostage crisis blows that out of the water. Event these two, space this, hold this, repair South Africa unrest is an option. I'd really like Africa's going to drop this turn, actually, because it's, it's fairly simple for him to flip for domination. The problem with eventing nuclear subs mid-turn is that he can he can basically use that tempo to cause trouble elsewhere. You end up eventing nuclear subs and then racing around the board repairing the damage they do, which is less than ideal. He does want to get off to space, even if his cards are fairly mediocre, because he really can't afford to be giving me his headline in turns 9 and 10. I mean, that's that's genuinely diabolical for him at that point. But we'll get our Milops this turn through into Pakistani War, I think. Um, if he does go off to space... We want to put two in Israel ASAP, because obviously Arab-Israeli war's not on. If he's got something like the Reformer, even with US the way it is, he can do a bit of damage. So there's still a lot to watch out for. This could easily go in the tank in final. Yeah, so off to space. He misses. This is great news for me. So we'll race up Israel to start. Which isn't a great tempo play. But. We want to do it. Yeah, so he overprotects against Solidarity. We will finish taking Israel to level up. We're going to... Um, we, we need to be more risk-averse about Italy with the Reformer. So let's pop another one in there instead. So he decided not to deck Crisis me. He saw that my hand wasn't up to much. subs is the one yeah that point in the game where you're you're using d style as ussr it's never fun is it hmm. okay so we we'll use solidarity to recover west germany now he's done the necessary and if we have to use nuclear subs we will Yeah, he's just going for it. So we we'll use nuclear subs. Not ideal. Threes on twos. In a way, you know, I'm happy with that because he's using three ops for every two op I respond. But he's also taking away my options of doing stuff elsewhere. <laughs> you dog. You absolute dog. All right. We're not going to try flipping Asia. You've managed to get into a Pakistani war out of my hand. I hope you're happy. He could just use the China card to really ram the point home. Uh, 
Uh, right, we've got. I'm gonna space. We've got we've got Norad's op to help as well. That wasn't ideal. Chernobyl's nice. ABM's nice. If he missile envies me, I can give him flower power. So what about Chernobyl Europe to stop him doing more damage? And then ABM response in Africa if he gets domination. And ABM South America to get points. But we're going to see what he does. So we could always just defect. Summit Reagan. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're defecting that. Reagan and Chernobyl. So we give him flare power. That means we get the coup. Unless no, we're gonna we're gonna repair West Africa, uh, West West Africa. What do I know? Um, because we've got ABM. So after all that fighting around in Egypt, I get Sadat back. Whoop de doo. So yes, we're we're proffering a coup here, which he's taking. Alright, let's pop one in South Korea in case we can do some damage. What do we fancy, is the question. Now, I think we fancy Angola. We're fine with South America dropping for zero and keep domination Angola. So, ideally not a one, please. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes. I can break South Korea. Which puts it on his radar... But at least makes him look the other way. When he looks the other way, we'll drop South America for zero, because we're not being greedy. And now we're hoping to score Africa at domination. I was mostly concerned about Africa flipping to non-dom. We're not getting off to space this turn, to my chagrin. But now it's just about staying ahead, right? We're looking to get the final scoring, push this one through, and call it a night. The biggest risks are Iranian hostage crisis making Middle East domination a sure thing, Panama being flipped for Central America control. And that's those are the big two things to, to threaten final scoring. And now we get a mitt, which is nice. So we lose Aldrich and we lose Marine. Um, we may ditch an evil empire because it's just a VP. No, 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 because flower power got triggered. We'll keep it in. It has two benefits. And we keep special relationship in because that's two VP and we keep war games in because he's not going to get to minus seven. So that was nice. Don't need to worry about Aldrich. Don't need to worry about Marine Barracks bombing. So that's one less card. He'll recover South Korea and overprotect it. Bloop, bloop. We drop South America scoring for nothing. We're fine with that. Uh, we may. We may, we may, we may. Yeah, that's got to go off to space. Will he miss? Can I keep peeking? No, I cannot. And now we do have to race for the three op square. I'm going to event... Reagan, because at this point a VP is better than two ops. And I'm likely to event South African unrest to get.
get out my hand. If he contains me, I'm spacing it. Oh no, I've entered containment a couple of turns ago. I'm not very good at tracking cards. Oh, he's managed to... That's good work by him. So we're going to use... We're going to use Chernobyl to coup back. No one. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, he must have been delighted to make that space slot. Okay, so that's one of my fears coming true. Let's have a realignment on here. And we'll do another one of those with Sadat. So the double terrorism is viable, but obviously both DEFCON cards have gone. So the advantage of a double terrorism for him turn 10 is obviously he gets AR7, which is pretty huge. So now I get the shiny card. Oof. Good, I got the reformer, and I got special relationship, so I can sex up. But do I take tear down this wall to maximize my... If I tear down this wall, I could then try a coup on West Germany before ops warring for it. And I've got special relationship in the in the tank as well. I don't want an 8th AR, even though OPEC's worth 4 VP. I think maybe I just use special relationship to repair Europe, right? Rather than take a chance. And then if he coos, I go off to space first. And I've got colonial rear guards if he does coup Africa. The problem is, tear down this wall is a gamble. Special relationship is not, and confers VPs. Let's just do special relationship. Okay, great. At null point. I'll take that all day long. I think he's starting to get properly fearful. So he'll get a coup off. Angola seems the obvious one. We're hoping for it to be somewhat mediocre so we can repair it with um, NORAD. I definitely got my ops back with NORAD because of the ABM thing as well. Those three ops, well, four ops because I had to put an op into Canada as well. I think I got those four ops back in value. I think that was the most unorthodox part of this this game. There's probably other ones. Let me know what you think. So he's going to fire off a nice big coup. Oh, a teeny tiny coup. Also fine. Yelza. Uh, where can we do the most damage? We can tap Asia turn 10 AR7. So let's start with... Some realigning. Come on. Another one of those, please. Yes, please. Boo. So now he's going to coup Cameroon or Sahara State. So we might just bog him down in a tempo war in Africa, frankly. He gets off to space first. Big swing. Let's keep realigning. Come on. Boo. All right. Time for colonial rear guards. 
we may still space the reformer. So we're back in Dom, and we've got colonial rear guards to crack open. And AR7, we're going to tap Asia for for domination. And I'm hoping that's the ball game. A double terrorism here that pulls colonial rear guards is still devastating. That's also good for him. Yeah, that's fine. So we're looking to trade Europe, Africa, and Asia for the Middle East and Central America. Although with four ops, I can break Cuba and Asia. We've got some ops at the moment to uh, chase up West Germany, and I got the reformer. We're going to give away 2vp with her on Iraq war because he spaced the flower power card. Although I can do stuff with South African unrest that I can repair. Yeah, so I might hold her on Iraq. And I've, got, I've only got three ARs to use these four cards as well. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's two more VPs. Splendid. Uh, Haiti? Yeah, fine. So, I have an empty action round. Is it worth a 50-50 space for a VP? Or, the plain coup for Milops? Let's hold on to our ops for now and get a space. Well, that makes me look like an idiot. But now South African unrest can sit in my hand too. We'll respond to whatever he does with Cuba Missile Crisis, and then AR7, we're hoping to tap Asia in Central America and call it a game. Um, got lucky when it counted. The missile MV pull of, of the grain sales pull, was it? Whatever the pull it was that got brush war was pretty big. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. We'll overprotect West Germany. And what are we going to tap? Saudi, Syria even. So if he double terrorisms me here, I keep the China card. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I, I got lucky when it counted. And that, I mean, I, against good players, you need to ride the luck. February has been the exact opposite of January for me. So let's hope March tries to tread a middle ground. Because I'm not sure we can handle the bipolar extremes of uh, these months. Um, but yeah, good luck to John. Him, me and Shez now have a an exciting three-way battle for the top slot. Rather than me looking on enviously and voyeuristically at those two. So there's that going for it. So he's he's trying to calculate what his best turn 10 AR7 is. And then I calculate what my best response is. And he's got four ops. So he just goes for a straight tap. So we will go for re repair and dom Asia. And I've got one more to boot. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Does that? I can't do anything in South America. I can't do anything in Central America. We've broken a domination, so let's make West Germany capitalist again. Took it to final, though.
All right, thank you for watching. Let's upload this video now. Um, that really is the last game I have for a short while. Rutzel's done and dusted. I got completely stuffed there and I'll be relegated and we'll try Division 2 in the autumn. Um, this is my 17th Itzel game. So I've got three left. Um, next game's on Sunday, March the 8th. So, uh... Yeah, Sunday, March the 8th is the next game, so you won't see me for a while. Um, but there's plenty of other videos out there. And maybe you'll all remember how to start commenting again by the time I play. Um, because it's gone very quiet, and it's not because I've perfected the art of the game. So, ciao for now. Thank you for watching. Please let me know how to change, and let me know if you thought that that NORAD thing was genius.